Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Sunday. Time for another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date. Being thrifty out of, out of being thrifty over fifty. I'm Jay. I'm Fag. Hi, everybody. Two weeks in a row we're here. Woo -hoo. <laughs> well, one of us is fully here. One of us is kind of here. Uh, you mean I don't look too good right now? So we practiced earlier. Clear as the bell. And that was like three and a half I'll hours ago. Clear. No hiccups, no stutters. It's like the internet knows when mom's going live and is like, here we go, off. <laughs> I know. You know, I got shut down again this past week for another uh, 12, 14 hour period. So they're doing something. They're trying to fix something, but apparently it's nothing's changing with all these shutdowns, you know? No, not, not I a just bit. Get no, no, because let's see. I got shut down again. I think it was Monday. Monday of this past week, it, it went off at eleven o'clock in the morning and didn't come out until you know midnight that night. I mean, it's just I, I don't know, guys. I I, I call, I scream. <laughs> of course, it doesn't do any good, but I guess it gets my frustrations out a little bit. But it's it is aggravating. That's for sure. I'm so sorry. One of these yeah. days, we're gonna get we're gonna get a good one. <laughs> oh, so what's so new with you? Everybody? Uh, what's new with me? Nothing. Just uh, Nothing. Been watching the Olympics and uh, closing yeah. out the month in grand fashion this month. So, yes, I hear you've been doing very, very well. Um, I'm having a garage sale this next week, so <laughs> mom's got a lot to do in three days. A lot. So I hope I can pull it together. But I want I, it, the weather looks so good that that's why I'm pushing to you know get it out there. So I got a lot of ads to put out tomorrow and all that good stuff. But Dad and your sister and I got away for a little vacay, quickie but good. We uh, went to Frederick, Maryland to get our blue crab fix. Anybody in the chat love blue crabs like we do? We're addicted and we love them so, but you know, it's hard to, uh, hard to get them of where I live. <laughs> but you know, we, we used to go to Ocean City, Maryland all the time, but then we stumbled onto a few places in Frederick, Maryland and Hagerstown as well that have blue crabs uh, year round. And so uh, it's about a five, four and a half, five hour drive for us. And uh, we leave early, like seven o'clock in the morning. We were there at noon. So we had crabs at lunch, crabs at dinner, and crabs the next day at lunch. You almost get crabbed out. And that's a lot closer. <laughs> crabbed out. <laughs> almost get crabbed out. But Jason, I got to show you something new. You know, a lot of you are probably familiar with the Old Bay seasoning, I would yep, imagine. Yep. Because it, it, it's good on a lot of stuff, not just blue crabs. But look, at, there's the newest thing, Jason. Look what they're making now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, <laughs> if, if you know Fisher's Popcorn, Fisher's Popcorn is very famous in Ocean City, Maryland. They have their popcorn stands everywhere. And now they've added the Old Bay seasoning. So I picked up this bag. It's just a little 10 ounce bag. And I, I said, Oh, I told Dad, I said, Well, we got to buy it. We'll try it. And how much this little bag cost? I'm guessing not cheap. It wasn't $11. Wow. <laughs> I know. For I popcorn. Them. But I want to tell you, it's delicious. Oh, my God. It is so good. It is yummy. So Becky says, that's a long drive to get crabs. You yeah. bought a flea market along the way? No, but by pure accident, they stumbled into a treasure trove Ooh. of tiki mugs. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Yeah. But first up, we're going to talk about what our topic is. Now, mm -hmm. I actually went back and looked at our show from May, and some of the new features were there. I see them. We didn't talk about them. And then the new features screwed me up a couple of times. So I thought, okay, if it's screwing me up, it's got to be screwing a lot of people up. And then today when I was practicing, eBay must have been yelled at by a bunch of people because now when the kind of screw up happens, which I'll explain in a second, there's a big warning that comes across the screen that was not there originally. That's why I want to do this show because if you don't pay attention, you might be looking at the wrong thing. So. Let's talk about Terapeak. So whether or not you watch the May show, we're going to talk about just in general real quick. And every buyer, uh, every seller now has Terapeak, whether you have a store or not. eBay made it for everybody. So um, my wife and I, our home bar is called the Den of Sin. We have made three tiki mugs and uh, we made the same tiki mug in three different glazes. And so it's a good thing to use because I'll show you how Terapeak helps out. So Den of Sin tiki mug. Let's see who's selling them right now. Oops. All right, so there's seven up for sale, ranging in price from 300 
to uh, someone's wishful thinking at a thousand dollars. Because let me tell you, if you can get a thousand dollars, I got a couple extra laying around. I'll sell them for a thousand dollars also. <laughs> now, if we go to solds, all we're going to see is the last 90 days. So we're going to see five results in the last 90 days. Now, if we pop over to Terapeak, now, if you don't have a store, I don't know where you find it. I guess if you don't have a store, do you have Seller Hub? See, I don't know because I've always had a store. But within Seller Hub, so this is your, uh, let's go to your what your normal Seller Hub looks like for those that have it. And then right here is Research. So you click on Research and then Terapeak is what comes up. And now, here's a couple of things that kind of screwed me up. It normally should be set at custom uh, whoops, excuse me. It should normally be set at 365 days. Three times in the last two weeks, I'm searching stuff and I'm like, there is no way this CD hasn't been sold in the last 365 days. Well, somehow it was on seven days. I didn't change it, but I didn't notice it. So first tip, when you're using Terapeak for research, unless you're looking for a specific uh, period of time, Make sure it always says 365 because that's the whole point. You want to see how the year has gone with that item. Okay, so we go Dennis and Tiki mug from August 1st, 2020 to August 1st, 2021. There have been 14 sold with an average price of 342. Uh, and it's weird that the sell through rate has a line through it because I think everyone got sold, so it should be 100%. Uh, but here's the cool thing uh, Have you ever clicked on show sales trends? because it gives us this nice graph. Now let's look at the Den of Cintiki mug over the last year on the secondary market. All right, so it was 355 August of 2020, and then it crept up into tickling 500, and then just down a little bit, 450. Now some seller wasn't all that good, because look at this, dropped all the way to 235, yikes. And then we go back up, and then we drop way back down to 180 for this period of time. So uh, that those, so I, my, I could have bought it. I should have bought it 180 and resold it because watch yeah. how it creeps back up to 20, 280, 385. And this person, boom, it's hard to get it because it's such a skinny spike. 600. So that should be the new benchmark. Whether the next person sold it immediately for 390. Now. I don't think our mugs were 600. If you can get it, get it. But as you can see, this kind of shows the ebb and flow. So when you're doing rare collectibles, definitely use this. I mean, if you're selling 12 pack of tube socks, I mean, this would still show you the ebb and flow, but that's going to be a pretty constant price. When you're selling collectibles, there's going to be an ebb and a flow and just take a look at it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Now I said you can set a specific amount of time. So let's right now do uh, Billy Idol. And if you don't know, this is one of the uh, CD bolos. Billy Idol has a Christmas CD. That is awesome, but it's also out of print. Happy Holidays uh, Christmas CD. Okay. So for the past year, the average sold price is $42.70. Uh, that's weird. The sell-through rate hasn't worked all day. 32% uh, of the sellers offered free shipping, meaning it doesn't really matter since 70% didn't, okay? And the price range is from $15.63 to 80 bucks. So that's over a year. Now, if we look at what happened so far this summer, so let's go custom and let's go May 1st. Whoops. May 1st through August 1st. OK, and research because we encourage you to list your holiday stuff, especially your Christmas stuff all year round. Now, look at the average sold price in the summertime, thirty two fifty two. Now, you shouldn't shoot for the average sold price of a Christmas item based on the summer prices. So if you just went to eBay and looked at the last 90 days, you would see that the average sold price is thirty two bucks. And if you price it that way, you'd be losing out of money. So when you're doing holiday stuff, what you should do is now bump this back to no November and December and see what it sold for when it's the hottest. And when I mean hottest, I mean hottest in terms of selling. We know it's not hot in December, especially in Cleveland. Correct. <laughs> All right. So now we're looking at the two big months of Christmas selling. 
We're going to click research, and it goes from 32 average to 47. So if you looked at the just the last 90 days and based your price on that average, you'd leave 15 bucks on the table, okay? So when you do holiday stuff, look at the last holiday, look about a two-month span around the, the holiday, and then shoot for that price. <laughs> okay, I wonder if there's any questions and Becky's throwing up some shade. I do not like Old Bay seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yummy, Becky, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, uh, big big shout out to Nay. Uh, her uh, YouTube channel just crossed a thousand subscribers. So yay. Yay, Nay. Good job, Nay. I really wish Terapy had a barcode scanning feature. Well, Elisa, if you're going to wish for things, you got to wish for an app first because without an app, there's no need for a barcode scanning feature. So there is no app yet. There will be, we hope, but you need an app first, then you can have a barcode scanning feature. But guess what? You can just type the barcode in. I mean, it takes a little bit longer, but you can just type it in. Okay. Now, here's what's been screwing me up. When you're looking for something super duper rare and there's none, sold in the last 365 here's what happens so apparently there was a prince puppet from purple rain oops i gotta go full year yep mm -mm. okay there are no solds in the last year but you see this big blue box mom that says we couldn't find any solds so yes. we switch you to actives so about a month and a half ago, they were switching you to actives when there's no souls, which is fine, but they didn't mention that's what was happening. No. So I'm looking at actives thinking I'm looking at souls. Right. So I do like this feature that, okay, they're saying, hey, Jay, no souls in the last year, but there is one active right now. So you can do a lot of your research now in Terapeak without having to start on eBay and then go to Terapeak. You can pretty much do it all in Terapeak. But... You got to pay attention when this box pops up or you'll think you're sitting and sold still. Got it. That's a that's a good one to be, be aware of, you know. But that blue box wasn't yep. coming up before. So, so many people must have gotten their ear yep. because, oh, they're like, yeah, we should probably let people know we switched them to actives. Because, you know, once you start scrolling, all right, so let's pretend I don't see they've switched me. Once I start scrolling, I don't know I'm not in solds anymore. I'm thinking I'm in solds. And then I'd be like, Holy shit, $1,300. Get mine up right now. But no, that's just an active. <laughs> uh, all right. So cool. that is, um, that's how you use Terapeak. You should always use Terapeak. I mean, now look, we all sell stuff we know. Like Becky knows her jewelry. I know my Tiki mugs. But even with my mugs, there are an ebb and flow. And there's like a couple mugs that lately have been higher than normal. So if I don't use Terapeak and go off of my knowledge in my brain, I'll still get a good amount. But if I don't Terapeak it, I won't notice that the price has skyrocketed in the last three months. Right. All right. Now, for those of you who missed May, you can actually put a shortcut to Terapeak on your phone because it's a... It, it's not an app yet. It's a little tricky to find. But once you have a shortcut on your phone, then you don't ever have to worry about it. Because all you got to do is, boom, hit that shortcut and you're on Terapeak. So, mom is finally going to be our guinea pig. So, let's get rid of our... I our... hate doing this. <laughs> all right. So, now, Android, it's going to work about the same. But as I've always said, I haven't touched an Android phone in 15 years. So I'm sorry, you are somewhat on your own, but it will have the same kind of flow, but it might be a smidge different. Okay, on an Apple phone, you're going to go to Safari. So mom, go to Safari, please. Good job. Oh, let's pretend that's not there. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, it jumped ahead right, right to it, I'm yeah, sorry. we were practicing earlier. We don't want to get to the end result. All right. <laughs> Uh, so go, go up to where it says ebay.com and let's switch over to TMZ for a quick second. <laughs> Whoops. Nope, just TMZ. Yep. Okay. And just head, under, or head go. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that dude got his SUV stolen. So sad. Okay. Now, now we're going to go to eBay and eBay. Uh, 
get move that yeah there you go now let's go go to ebay so go up to your address bar and just type in ebay.com super easy yeah. and what, what when you go straight there it's kind of like mobile but not really uh but, but we got to work around that a little bit so if you see in the upper right corner or not the utmost upper right corner but right above or you see the magnifying glass, there are three straight lines. Mom, if you would click on those, please. Okay. And then you want to click on sell. Yeah, when you have a link to a website on your phone, that's not an app. That's just a link to a website. Okay. So now here we are in our seller hub that it looks just like on our computer. If you scroll okay. over a little bit, Mom, to... Uh, research, please, and okay. tap on research. Okay. You want me to hit your peak product? Yeah, it, it does it automatically on the computer, but apparently you got to tap on it on the phone to get okay. to the. There we go. Oh, God, that's so small. I can't hardly read yeah, it. You can zoom in. Okay. So okay. now to set up our shortcut, mom, on the bottom in the middle of the screen, there's a box with an arrow pointing up. Yes. Click on that, please. Okay. And then uh, scroll down just a smidge and you'll see add bookmark. So tap that. Okay. Oh, uh, actually that's wrong. I'm sorry. Cancel that. Cancel. Okay. Yeah. I think it's add your home screen. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Wrong one. Okay. Sorry. Skip add that. Home screen. Add okay. the home screen. Sorry. Okay. It's all right. Okay. And then uh, you can just delete back all that up and just leave the word Terapeak. See how long that title is. Terapeak yes. router. Yeah. So okay. just delete back just so just the word Terapeak. Just Terapeak. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Click add. Add. All right. Oh, All right. Now, see that. where that says Terapeak in her lower right corner? That is the yeah. quick link right to Terapeak. You don't got to go into Safari, go into eBay, click those three lines. Just go ahead and tap that, mom. Okay. And there I am. And then boom, right into therapy. Oh, oh how okay. cool is that? Now, well, thank it would be you nice if, oh, you're welcome. It would be nice if they create us an app that's formatted for our phone. But yeah. in the meantime, until we get there, you can use therapy when in the field on your phone super duper quick. Okay. Really nice. I so, like that. Uh, go back to your home screen, please. And then scroll over to your left. Okay. So I do want to show mom how to put some things together. So actually, let's scroll back to the right and see if we can pull this off live on the show. Oh, okay, wow. on an iPhone where you can move your icons around, you can group them together, you can take them from one screen and move it on a different screen. So mom, I'm going to have you push down on where it says Terapeak and hold it for a few seconds until it jiggles. Okay, now it's jiggling. Now, mm -hmm. what you do is... You push down, hold it, and then scroll it to the left. And eBay chair peak all the way to the left? Yep, till we get to the next screen. And oh. we'll keep our fingers crossed. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Boom, let go. All right. Now tap anywhere on the screen. I'll put it back to normal for a second. Okay. All right. So now I see on this screen, I see Amazon buyer, Amazon seller. I see eBay. I see Terapeak. We're going to put all those together into one nice little folder. So what I want you to do is uh, take that Terapeak, hold it down again until it jiggles. Okay. Okay. Now drag it on top of the eBay app. Oh, did it do it? Okay. Yes, it did. There you okay. go. Now, while huh? everything's still jiggling, grab the Amazon app to the left of it and drag it in there. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> All right. And what else? And now, see where it says Amazon seller up at the top there? Yes. Uh huh. Drag that into that little uh, folder. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, it didn't make it, did it? No, no. It, so it moved up next to the southwest to the right. Yeah. So go uh, back to that I'm folder sorry. to the right of Southwest now. Yeah. Put, put Amazon back in that folder. Yeah. You haven't got there yet. Yeah. Right. It, it keeps moving. <laughs> Drop it right. <laughs> it, mom's in a perpetual race. How come it won't go over? It won't, you got, it won't you gotta fall over. You got to get it back. right on top and just let it go. Oh. Okay. Let go. Oh. <laughs> I 
come on now. How come we won't do that? I mean, I'm yeah, Casey, and then they come down and go over. Let's try it this way. No. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you put your left icon in. Yeah. All right. Now, for those of you who don't know how to move things around, the bottom is your four things that you use on the regular. So mom's got her phone and Facebook, but she's got two empty spaces. So let's take your Gmail and drag that down there. So go ahead and grab your Gmail and take it right on down to the bottom. There you go. Okay. And you use Messenger quite a bit on Facebook. So go ahead and grab that and put that on the bottom. Okay. And then just touch anywhere on the screen and you're going to be good. Cool. Okay. So now that folder to the right of your Southwest, if you tap on that, it'll open up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and then I just go for the one I need, and There's right? your eBay, your your Terapeak, your Amazon seller, your Amazon buyer. I have my Macari in there, my Etsy, my Poshmark, all that stuff. So it's a one-stop uh, yeah, shop for all your mobile online it. selling needs. Well, I'll have to play with it even a little bit more. Thank you very much. So there you go. So if nothing yeah. else, get that shortcut to your uh, to your phone screen. And that way, when you're in a store, boom, just hit that, start typing. You're going to have to zoom in and out a little bit, but at least right. you have that data of 365 days sitting at your disposal. Right there. Yeah, that's really that's going to be nice because mom has not had that. So I know. Tom it says, use. can you put a folder down there? I don't think you can, Tom, but it's a good question. Let me try. I'll do that right now. Hold on a bit. Right. Oops. No, stop that. I don't think so, but hold on a minute. There we go. Deb says she keeps your camera down there, so it's easy to find. Yeah, that's that's probably a good one, too. Oh, you can put it down there. I just put my folder oh, down ah, there. There you go. Oh. Look at that. Look, okay, so you can put a folder. But you can, only do, you can only do four items, though, right, honey? Yeah, four items. Yeah. <laughs> Jim has seen the light. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, you don't got to keep your camera on the bottom because when when you turn your phone on, your camera's already right there. You don't need to put your camera on the bottom. It's right there. Shaboom. Kaboom. Yeah, your camera's at the bottom as soon as you turn it on. Or if you're already open, you don't have to go find your camera. You just pull down from the top, and there's your camera. So that's one of the apps you shouldn't take up space with down there because you can access your – see? Boom, I'm found it. You can access yeah. your camera a variety of ways that are super-duper easy. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste – one of the four spaces down there on the camera. That's cool. All right. So I'm, I'm moving forward, Jason. Mom's getting now, more educated. <laughs> let's use Terapeak to, okay. So mom, set up the story. You guys are walking along in Maryland and okay. you stopped for a drink. Well, we, uh, I mean, it was so crazy. We stopped. I wanted to go to this little vintage store that I always uh, pop into because they carry beautiful things. And we did. So we go in, then we're walking along because I had seen another vintage store down the street. But as we're going on our way to that next vintage store, we pass this bar that says it's Tiki Week. <laughs> so, and then the tiki, tiki cocktails. So in we go and uh, we sit there and have cocktails. And, and then Jenny and I are going to do something else at another store. And dad says, well, I'm going down the street to the next vintage store. So dad goes down there and Jen and I are in another store and I get a phone call from dad. He says, you better get down, hurry. I'm seeing an awful lot of cheeky stuff. I said, okay. So I fly out the door. And don't you know, they closed at 5 o'clock. And it was already 5 after 5. And so said, this oh. is the window that they're looking in. Yes. So here I'm seeing all these cheeky mugs, you guys. And I'm going crazy. And I'm going, oh, my God. And especially one. There is one there that I've been looking for for a long, long time. And there it is, the one on the right. Now, if any of you have collect tiki or been hanging around long enough, you should know the one on the right is the one as a holy grail. It is. I mean, it, it's – Jay's mom has searched for that constantly, always in my radar, you know, when, I, when I'm going uh, – on. The, oh, yeah, I did count, try pounding on the door, Lisa. They were not going to open. And the sign says they open up at 11 o'clock the next morning. Well, we were kind of supposed to be on our way to our next area at Hagerstown, but we said, well, we've got to come back. So we come back, and we're there a few minutes before 11, and then, and then it's 11, and I don't see anything. And finally, one minute after 11, the lights turn on. And uh, they've got a nice, beautiful cart of plants and things. I didn't even give him a chance to put it outside where, where he was going to put it. <laughs> I just went rushing in. And we did it. We, very, we were very nonchalant. We didn't gush. You know what I mean? you got to play it cool. We looked around the entire store first, and then we said, well, you know, we, we, uh, we're we running a 
you collect what you can and what you can and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and so I brought out um, 15 that I wanted out of the 17. <laughs> and, and here's the kicker, guys. Out of the 15 mugs that I purchased, the only thing that is a duplicate, as I will show you, is the salt and pepper shaker. All the other ones I do not have in my collection. I'm a pretty decent sized collection. Not one of these, Jace, is the same. Not one. So I, I was so excited that I found so many goodies. And uh, I, I want to share some of this with you guys. And um, Jason, are we going to do a little look up or how do you want mom to start? Yeah, this? hold on a sec. Okay. Well, here, I'll show the one thing that I did, I did have at home, but these are pretty nice. And oh, All by right. the time. Do you want me to talk any of the money yet or at the end or how do you want to do this? You can do it at the end. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to Terapeak and see uh, what we find. Okay. All right. I want to start right. with something. You might be able to find these. Okay. All right. So let me make you big for a second. Okay. These are um, from the Kahiki Supper Club, which was in Columbus, Ohio. And they are salt and pepper shakers. Um, they used to have these big moais outside of their uh, entranceway. And they are marked. And they still have the Odagiri sticker on them, Jason, which is kind of nice. All right. So, so let's go uh, check yeah. out Kahiki Salt Pepper. See if any come up. All right. So our souls <laughs> over, are we in a year right now? Hold on. Yeah. Double check that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last 365. Okay. So the All average right. gold price is 38.43. Average shipping is $9. Only 15% have offered free shipping. So obviously it doesn't mean much to the customers of this. 20 okay. sold items. And uh, we can start by the highest or the lowest. So the highest is $60. Nice. $750 shipping. Here's $56. Here's $54. And now what's nice with this whole active thing, we don't got to go back to eBay to see what's active. We just click on it right here. Oh. And then, of course, because it's active, you can click the link. And... uh these are not Kahiki Supper Club, and they've even no, denoted that question. by having three question marks in their title. Yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. Yeah. Okay, so so that so right now there are no Kahiki Supper Club tiki moai salt and pepper shakers. So, so I could so, probably put these up for there on that sixty dollar mark. Huh? Well, so if I were you, or if I were any of you, and we were doing this research, seeing as how it looks like we can get sixty bucks, and there are none right now. Okay. I would absolutely put it up for uh, seventy nine ninety nine. Okay. All right. I will do that. Yep. So seventy nine ninety nine. We'll get those up right away because, like I said, that's my only duplicate. I'm All right. So Elisa is a member of the Seeker Beach, so that means you should have watched the Tiki webinars <laughs> by now. If you are asking that question, young lady, you are. It is back to the Tiki webinars for you. <laughs> yes, Easter Island heads are Tiki. They're part of the Polynesian Triangle. Correct. Correct. <laughs> All right. Well, back, to, back to Tiki, young lady. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's one that I found that I thought was so unique. We'll go to this one, Jace. This is the All right. So this one, I did. I knew the maker, but I didn't know the mug. I hadn't seen it before, but I, there's a reason I really hadn't seen it before. You'll show the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, whoops. Up right here. All right. So before we go any further, Ken says, or excuse me, Tom says, why... Seventy nine ninety nine, because look, it's selling for sixty bucks already. Sixty is the norm if you list it properly. Yeah. No one has any, so go higher. Why would you go to the norm when you'd be the only one listing it right now? Because we also always use best offer. So if that next person comes by tonight or tomorrow and says, "I need Kahiki Supper Club salt and pepper shakers," they're only going to see moms. They probably won't take the eighty, but maybe they'll go for seventy. Right. Maybe they'll go for 65. That'll be five bucks above the norm. That's why you go higher. Always go higher. Too many people shoot, 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 shoot too low. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, go ahead and show the bottom of this. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, three of 25. Talk about a limited edition mug. I know go tiki, but I did not know this mug. And so we looked up this mug earlier. We can't find any solds because with only 25, there really isn't any, you know, out there. And so yeah. Terra Peak didn't have any, Worth Point didn't have any. And so what you got to do at that point is here, actually, I'll bring up Terra Peak, is you got to kind of look at other tiki's by that same manufacturer. So it's Go Tiki. <clears throat> and kind of get an idea. So, oh, that's active. Oh, no, that's sold. 
All right. So some people write it as one word, some write it as two words. Oops, get that period out of there. So let's go. Go Tiki with quotes. Oh, and here's the one problem with Terapeak that's different than eBay and you think they'd be the same. If you misspell a word on eBay, it kind of figures it out and goes, you meant this, didn't you? Terapeak doesn't do that. So if you get the results and there's zero and you think there should be results, if you've misspelled the word, it does not correct it for you. So spelling 100% counts on Terapeak. Okay. So here's a Go Tiki bowl that sold for $265, one of a kind. Here is a Tiki torch by Go Tiki. It looks like, you know, the old school torches. I know they made about 100 of those. So those are selling for 100 to 150, okay? And then those of us that have worth point, we could go one step further just to get some more get some more information. We can go over to worth point. Okay, so uh, I've never seen this one. It's only sold for 28, but this this one sold for 128. Mm. Okay, that's not a go tiki. Uh, 1950, but this is way back in 2017. So as you can see, the go tiki stuff does not come up that often. And so that's what's exciting about that. We're actually going to use this for the next one in a second. Huh? Okay. Um, so in this case, I'm going to throw it in the, uh, I'm going to help mom throw it in the Tiki Clutchers groups okay. and we're going to put a ridiculous price on it and put our best offer and see what comes up because it's only one of 25 and it's a kick-ass oh. mug. Right. Yeah. So kick-ass cool. mug. There's that one. Okay. All right. You want me to do uh, the farm next? Is that what you're Yeah, sure. Okay. So, so then mom shows me a mug that uh, A, I don't know and B, I can't find anywhere. Okay. <laughs> So I'll see the bottom here for a second. Okay, so there's that. You can kind of see there's See that little thing down there? There's a compass. There's a compass in the front. That's an actual compass at work. And it works. And on the back side, we have a mirror. <laughs> uh, so John says three of 25 do the paint scheme. Not on that one. That one's just three of 25. They only made 25 of that specific mug. And there is the word called, uh, it says tin gain exclamation point. Can you and go back real quick to the, go, the other one real quick to show the bottom? Yes, people don't date their mugs, Chris. So never have to worry about a date. I mean, there'll be a year. Yeah, but see how that says three slash 25? In collectible mugs, that means three of 25. Okay. Right. All right. So back okay, to the so go back to that. Yeah, so it, yes, the compass helps you find your tiki. Can you right. see the oh, Yeah, boy, we that. can't. So what's it say? Read the bottom to us. Okay, the bottom says FOM, which is the fraternal order of the Moai, bourbon tiki, Pop Tiki. Okay, so Pop Tiki is the manufacturer out of Colorado. And then this whole bourbon tiki, I think it was someone's home bar, maybe. I don't know, but I can't find this mug anywhere. So could be a one of one, but it also could be like that. There wasn't a number on the bottom, was there? No, not on this one. Okay. Uh, so could be a one of one. I've got some one of ones in my collection. Could be something where they made just a handful. Mm -hmm. But again, this one's going to be a tricky one because the going rate, what, who knows? Yeah. Do we just throw everything up for $600 or best offer and see what rain shakes out? You never know. Because the mug, the mug collectibles have gotten so nutty that this could be a $600 mug and yeah. we might be leaving a hundred on the table. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Swoop. Uh, come on, we got over, we got 120 well, people watching live. We're giving you a ton of great content today. All right. Give us a big watch. old thumbs up. Oh, and real quick, I think yes. I can do this. Oops, hold on. Hold, please. Brian had typed up uh, the how to do this for an Android in the thrifting board. And stupid YouTube doesn't allow anyone but me to put a, post a link in the chat. Wow. So uh, now the link's in the chat. So click that real quick, save it for later if you have an Android, but that Brian was nice enough to write out all the instructions on how to do it for um, Android. Okay, you ready? On to the next. Uh, so uh, our, our gang over at Traveling Salvation found a black squid tiki mug the other day. Now, mm -hmm. uh, the question is, did you buy it and do you still have it? And if so, I want to see a picture of it. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Here we go. Okay, so I could tell right away that uh, this was snow on this tiki. 
So again, is from Pop Tiki. He's out of Colorado. So the snow makes sense. Uh, yeah. But this was from 2012. First visitor to the it's Pop, Pop Tiki. Urban Tiki. So I maybe guess. Pop Tiki had a home bar or had some bourbon thing. I don't know. But this was to the first person who visited. And guess what? Apparently they didn't care because they sold their collection to the store in Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, you know. So, so again, couldn't find this mug anywhere I looked. Yeah. So, uh, you know, maybe I, maybe I hit the mother load, Jace. <laughs> All right. So this is where uh, Traveling Salvation, it would be beneficial for you guys to be on Facebook. When you're in a store, and especially when you see a Tiki thing, uh, then you could just hop on real quick, send me a picture. Because Absolutely. to the lay person, there, there are mugs that would look identical to the lay person, to the non-Tiki collector. But to me, to mom, to Aaron in the chat, they would know, oh, the one on the left's 100 bucks, but the one on the right's 800 bucks. But to the average person, you wouldn't even notice that $700 difference. And if you didn't, and you didn't ask me, you might leave 700 bucks on the table. So that's why I am happy to answer a thousand Tiki questions a day. So, all right, moving I'm on. I'm sure you had a good pass, but I'm just letting you know find anything Tiki, boom, message me a picture right away. I'll give you my phone number. You can text it to me, and I can tell you in an instant if you should buy it or not. Right. And always, always. Yeah. always. What's the one thing that people have to do, mom, so I can give them an answer? Tell you how much it is for one thing. That's what everyone forgets. They'll send you a tiki and they never tell me what the asking price is. I need to know that or I cannot answer you. <laughs> and don't forget, sometimes if there is a small chip, if it's a, a rare one, yeah. it won't make any difference. Oh, yeah. I've sold chip yeah. mugs. I've sold broken yeah. mugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, moving All on. Right. All right. Now, this one I knew right away. Yep. Uh, it's a great rare find. So let's look it up. I will show everybody the bottom because there is some marking on the bottom. Yep. Made for Skipper Kent's. So let's go Skipper Kent's Tiki Mug. Now that is a Moai. Not everyone mm -hmm. knows that. So I'm going to go as uh, minimalist as I can. And then here it is. So uh, sold for 75, sold for 75, sold for 75. Are you noticing a pattern here? Yes. So obviously the going rate is 75, a couple for 50. Let's see if there's any actives. No actives. So screw that 75. You want 100 bucks. Okay. So I listed for 125. Someone okay. might snag it for 125, but you'll probably get a hundy. Okay. All right. Ooh. Love it. Okay. How and about yes, Becky, the other thing is on most, almost all Tiki mugs, I need to see the bottom. Yes. Too. So yes. if you could shoot me three pictures, front, bottom, and back, and the price, I can have an answer for you, and I got to ask you no more questions. Ready? Yep. All right. So that's kind of a, a Fu Manchu variation from Tiki Farm. It's called, uh, oh, crap. I forget. It begins with a W. Oh, let's see here. Well, hmm. This was by Derek, Tiki Farm 2011 on the bottom. Yeah, uh, Fu Manchu. Oh, Jason, you're here. Does that help you? Wangs. Yeah, Wangs Tiki or Wangs mm -hmm. Fu Manchu. Okay. And there it is. So one sold. Uh, uh, April 24th for $45. Oh, no, excuse me. Excuse me. That's active. Active. Okay. All so right. It's sold. See how it caught me? See how it caught me? Yep. All right. Now, there's an active for $45, but look at these solds. $65, 55 yeah. So maybe they're aiming too low. All right. Now, here is where you can see if you need you can adjust. Okay. So theirs is used. $45. Is there any damage? Minor paint chip, okay. See okay. picture four. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's not that big of a deal. But guess what? They only ship to the United States. Oh boy, mom, like a lot of us, <laughs> want to offer this mug to 7.3 billion other customers that could be potential. Yep. So when you have the one item that only one other person has, you got to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Theirs has a little chip. They're, ship, they're charging 20 bucks. You know, it doesn't take 20 bucks to ship that mug. No. no. And offered internationally. There are so many tiki uh, collectors in Canada, the UK, yeah. and Australia at the minimum. Yeah. I mean, I usually do $9.99 on my mugs. That's what I usually do. Yes. I never sleep. I answer texts uh, almost around the clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Now, Linda says it's interesting. The less you put in a tear peak, the more results you get. Yes, because Linda, you're getting too specific. Because don't forget, 
if you're smart about I am know all the words, is every other seller smart about that item? Probably not. Probably so not. you got to start minimalist, but don't just start too minimal. Don't just put the word tiki. Right. You know, Skipper Kent's tiki. It's a Moai, but we're not going to mention that. We're just going to put Skipper Kent's tiki mug. And then we saw what we needed to see. Um, Anything in particular you want me to show next, honey? Uh, no, whatever you got. Because okay. yeah, we're running a little um, long and I got to oh. meet it. I, I got to pick up today. Someone's oh, picking up a tiki oh, mug oh. for me. All right. Oops, there we go. All right, so oh. this is kind of model after an old-fashioned mug that had girls undressing as a handle. This is a modern tiki farm mm -hmm. mug, uh, but it hasn't been sold in a while, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, I mean, we, can, we can kind of zip through the rest of these, you know, just to show everybody to keep your eyes open. Now, this uh, this one here is the Hot Rod Hula Hop that I have attended their functions a number of times. And I'm, uh, we're pretty sure it's the one out of Columbus, Ohio, right, Jace? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and um, it's got it just it's a it's a round mug here. It's got a got a volcano. It's got uh, oh, a nice tiki a frame type thing here. And well, that would be forty. That, that would, come on, what is that a frame of? It's the uh, you know kahiki. Yes, very good. <laughs> and there's the forty out of fifty. Yep, Mark, and that and one we couldn't find any souls. Yeah, and with that does say pop tiki on it as well. Okay, all right. All right, so uh, they did. Uh, Traveling Salvation did buy a Libby bamboo mug. Just to let you know, that's what we call a Sarah, S A R A, mm -hmm. smash and run away. Libby yeah. makes mugs that are fine, but they're just not collectible because you can buy them new for like four dollars, four ninety nine. As a heads up. Okay. Nope, she hasn't mentioned how much she paid yet. Hey, Not that's yet. a good looking mug. All right, I'll make you big first. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. All right, that's a good looking mug. And uh -huh. it kind of looks like that tiki on my arm. It sure does. That's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is marked. Uh, oh, Jason, I, this has some writing on the bottom. Can you read that? It does say Holly, Holly Tiki, Augusta, Georgia. That's written yep. on there. Yep, the, that was from a the, bar that closed up in Augusta, Georgia. Oh, okay. And uh, Tiki Farm uh, on that on the blue one. Okay, we'll yep. bump, bump over from there. All right, let's uh, let's finish up. Okay. All right, so that's from Three Dots and a Dash in Chicago. It's a modern mug, but it's priced cheaper than they sell them for at the bar. And right. Mom didn't have it, so that was an easy pickup. Easy pickup there. Um, let's do these two real quick. This is a Trader Vix. Yeah, that was from the, the modern L.A. one that was down by Staples Center but no longer exists. Chicago on the backside, Jace? Oh, Chicago. Sorry. Yeah, they yeah. made the green one for L.A., the brown oh, one for Chicago. Okay. And then there's this one that Jason knew about. Mom didn't. Yeah, uh, so that was designed by Squid, Squid uh, yeah. the store store that no longer sure. exists. It was in Waikiki Beach. Okay. And then I'll save the two best for last. Oops. Don't break any. Boy, I hear a lot of clinking. Oh, no. Clink, 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 clink. Okay. Give us all a heart attack. I oh, know. All right. All right. So this is the Steve Crane tongue mug. So let's pop back over to our Terapeak. And we'll go Steve Crane tongue tiki mug. And no actives right now. Oops. And the solds are 170, 157, 150, 150. And someone shot too low and shot it for, sold for 119. Okay. All right. So and mom didn't have that mug, so that's just staying right in her collection. Oh, yeah. And I didn't have this one. And like we said earlier, this one's not leaving the house. So this is uh, the, the exact name is a hypnotic chicken, but we all call it the Steve Crane Bird Bowl. And so those of you who aren't into tiki would see this and never, ever in your wildest dreams think tiki bowl. But it yeah. is. Yeah. Based on where it came from, Steve Crane okay. owned the Luau in Beverly Hills, which is an awesome tiki joint. And All right. Both of these are marked on the bottom, okay? What would you pay for the Bird Bowl? For the Bird Bowl, well, let's see. The Bird Bowl, we ended up paying, I got it written right, right here, $175. Is that after the discount or before? That is after the discount. Okay. So as you can see, $290, $210, 210 Yeah, that $290 is the more correct price. Those people who shot sold for $210 shot too low. Yeah. So it's around a three hundred dollar bowl, right? So basically, uh, I we did some quick addition while we were there, and uh, I came up with eight twenty two, and then she came up with eight thirty six after she re added it, 
and um, and we I offered her seven hundred, and she said, "How's seven forty sound?" And I said, "Fine, we could do that." So it does a little over ten percent off of everything. Hey, uh, where's the boobies? Oh, where the Mom leaves out the boobies. Oh, oh I forgot the boobies. I got hair. All right. So so this is this is kind of a rarity piece because it's made by Hip, and Hip is kind of like Coco Joe's. There we go. And but but a damn, but they don't usually make you know full on topless ones and in color. Yeah, yeah, it does say so usually it's lava and it's usually black and some are a little bit of maroonish. But yeah, this is uh pretty awesome. Yeah, and it does say made in Hawaii, hip original, H I P hip original. And uh, yeah, I've never, I've they, I've always seen them in total black lava. You know that I've never seen them colored like this. You know, so yeah, so. Yeah, so totally all. I think I had like 17 pieces here, everybody. Talk about falling into it. Uh, in a, in Frederick, Maryland, which is a very historical little town having to do with the Civil War and War of 1845 and, you know, that, all that kind of stuff. So uh, uh, some I will keep, some I will sell, and um, I should should make some decent money on, on this. Maybe enough to pay the ones I'm keeping, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking that's going to happen for sure. Yeah. All right, let's uh, cruise right on through everything okay. else here. Let's Each week, it. we share cute and or embarrassing photos of us in our youth, and we're doing uh, That's My Mama First. Okay. No, well, I've thought... never seen this picture before. I did own a VW. Uh, this was in 1967 when your dad was in Germany, and uh, we had bought a new car, but we sold that car because it was brand new. We hadn't made any payments on it. And I bought this little VW so I could have something to, you know, get back and forth to, to work from. My hair was silver blonde then, as you can see. I I think that's my dad sitting there with me, but I can't really make it out. I real think well. so too. Yeah, I think I think it's my dad. Look at that. Look at that poor little piece of work because the tires don't even match. <laughs> punch bug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 punch bug. <laughs> So there, there you go. 1967, everybody. All right. For Mama's Boy, do you all know the term? Do, does the carpet match the drapes? Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> so we're not talking carpet and drapes, but we are talking drapes and valance since I had pink hair and a pink beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> so this is me and my uh, best friend from high school, Art. We are down in New Orleans with our wives for Mardi Gras. That is a pink <laughs> wig, but my beard is dyed pink to match my wig. <laughs> oh my lord! I, I, and, I don't think I remember that. I got, uh, I got a uh, uh, a baby beard, hoop earrings, uh, no glasses, no no tats. Really, I had a couple tats, but nothing oh, major. Oh lord, lord, lord! Oh, I had a bunch like... of jelly bracelets on. Yeah, that, and, and we're definitely seventeen hurricanes to the wind at this point. Oh, oh yeah, you can see it in the face. That's for sure. <laughs> I can unplug the phone, can't I? Yes, you can. All right, okay. real quick. Speaking of holiday okay. stuff, if you didn't watch Thrifty Business on Thursday, go back. We okay. talked about uh, selling Halloween items in July. A lot of good information from Shannon. She rocked it. I can't wait to have her back on. This coming Thursday, because it'll be right in the middle of eBay Open, uh, we're going to do an eBay Open uh, recap show on Thursday night. So if okay. you forgot to register or if you can't watch because you're working like a regular nine to fiver, I will be taking notes and giving you the highlights okay so if you don't want to watch the whole thing i'll, I'll be your uh cliff notes version here's and a, then next... a... i got my glasses my ebay open glasses oh yeah nice. gift. yeah <laughs> yeah and then next week we're gonna talk on a, a sun pass air expiration date we're gonna talk about the new coupon code offering virtual ones and then you also can print ones out print ones out to send in a package I haven't done it yet. Mom's like, I don't know what to do. So yeah. I will do it this week and get it going. And so then we can talk about it next week. Oops. I'm cool. Brand Very cool. All right. All right. So let's, uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, let's do your souls, mom. Okay. All right. Well, the first thing that we're going to show, I can sell something on Macari. Yay. I'm so I'm selling right about Macari. Woohoo. Well, it's a Cleveland Indians pen. And I, I can kind of guess why that is selling. Uh, I do have another one to put up too, Jason. Um, this was uh, the pennant for the last uh, game, uh, game, a series of games played at the municipal stadium before they moved over to Jacob Seals, which is now what the queue. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's changed name so many times I can't even keep up with it. So I bought the pennants for dollar thirty three each, and I sold it for twenty five dollars. At least it wants to know how I have perfect teeth. Lucky, I never had yep. braces. <laughs> yep, you never Nothing. did. Yep, for sure. All right, someone wants to know your store, so here it is. I'll show it real big for a quick second. Old. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. Old hyphen Wahini. W A H I N E. All right. Look okay. at this badass Epcot Center sweatshirt. But here's my question. Yes. Why do you think this is a women's? Well, it just looked like a woman to me. I don't know. I guess it could have been unisex, that, I guess. That, okay. Uh, Chat, yeah. maybe I'm wrong. That doesn't read as women's or men's to me. It just, I, I wonder why you specifically called it out as a woman's. I don't remember if what made me change my mind, but I don't know, honey. I don't know. Mm, it's an extra large and it's only 40 across the chest. Yeah, it was you know, not very it's big. It's also very old, so, eh, you know, could go either way. Yeah, but I don't think a men's extra large would be that small, I just, even even though it's old. Yeah. It was pretty small. Look, look at that old tag. Yeah, look at 1982. that. 1982. I know. So, yeah. But I did take a best offer of 80 bucks on that. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Now, who would think? This is just some a vacuum cleaner parts for pet care from an infinity vacuum cleaner. And it, it actually was to one of our old vacuums. And Dad said, well, let's put the parts up for sale. So, you know, so really just stuff we had. And I took a best offer of $17. Now, who would buy that? I yeah, I mean, just stuff laying around your house you don't need no more. Exactly. So somebody bought that. Okay. And this is a photo that mom had. Uh, it's uh, the, it, called the Coxcomb Mountains in uh, Sedona. And uh, so that was one that we had. And I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine. Is this an old listing? I don't. It probably, yeah. That's not because, for a while. Look at your picture. It's uh, it's yeah. um, it's, a rectangle, it's, not it's, a square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Gene. That's old. Okay. I, you know, you guys, this is the last one. I think we bought a total of ten of these for eight dollars, and I have sold every one. This was the very last one for thirty four ninety nine. So times eight, let's see, let's say $35 times eight is 40, 24, 20, 280 dollars. And I had an eight dollar investment. That was don't pass those up, you guys. They sell anything pink and black for the kitchen, because I found the uh, the bread box and the canister sets. So if you ever see any of those, don't pass that pattern up. That's pretty popular. All right, okay. we got 77 thumbs up. We got 122 yeah. of you watching. Can we break a hundred today? That would be Let's, awesome, please. That would be nice. If you Let's had fun, it. if you learned something, give us a thumbs up. Oh, and I got so much more to show you. We'll move here as fast as we can. Okay, a Tory Richard a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, I paid, let's see, for the Tory, I paid two bucks, and I took a best offer of $35. Now, what I like that mom did here is, you know, the main art is on the one side of the shirt. There's a boat yeah. on the other side, but it's further away. And so I like that the opening shot was this side. And you see the, yeah. and you see the uh, lighthouse, too. So don't right. think that everything you have, you have to take a shot straight on as your opening shot. Find the interesting angle. Yeah. If he, as soon as I saw that, I said, oh, no, I've I, I, I got to definitely do the side picture. Okay. Some of you may remember back quite a while ago, I bought a bunch of Disney stuff at an estate sale. And this finally just sold Jason, which was the uh, year of 2000, the uh, car window shade thing, you know. And I did sell that for $22. Nice. the best offer. Uh-huh. Oh, and then we, we got the boobies again. Two yeah, times. Both boobie mugs went. You know, it's funny. I, all of a sudden, I got barraged with offers on the boobie. Not offers. Questions about the boobie mugs. The one girl wanted to know if I'd sell them together. Would I do better on the shipping? And I wrote her back and said yes. Well, And, and, and very quickly answered her. But, but by the time that all went on, the first one sold. And then before you know it, the second one sold. Two different people. Two different people. Now, I paid for the mugs. I paid 50 cents a piece. And sold them for ten ninety nine each. So it's twenty two dollars, twenty two dollars for a dollar investment on the booby mugs. Nice job. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Fitz and Floyd. We always like Fitz and Floyd. I've done well with Fitz and Floyd over the years. I uh, paid a dollar for the plates, a quarter each, twenty five cents, and sold them for um, as best uh, best offer of twenty two. Everybody on the Fitz and Floyd. Hey, I got some music, Jason. I got a little bit of music for you. Just a little. Mom selling cassettes. Oh, yes. We, that person that says we can't sell cassettes, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> These were the Fantasia cassettes uh, that I also bought at uh, at uh, Mickey thing for a quarter and uh, sold them for a full price of twelve ninety nine. And uh, last but not least, what? Honey? Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, last but not least, M.A. Hadley. Don't forget that name, you guys. It doesn't always have to be blue. These uh, this is a very early one, a design of his Christmas tree uh, in, in green and white. The newer ones are blue. 
Uh, I took a best offer acceptance today of $98 on that. So um, I'm happy stuff. So happy always sells well, doesn't it, folks? If you've done it out there, don't pass up your heavenly stuff. You find it cheap. Okay. Uh, Linda, right. Linda, if you've ever looked at any of my listings, I don't use a white background ever, ever. I have no white backgrounds in any of my listings. So, you yeah. know, they say to, but I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty All good. Right. All right. We might have to cut a little bit short because I do got to meet a guy. Okay. About right. um, so we can run right. over a little bit. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll move as fast as I can. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when it. we got to cut it. How would, does everybody have a pet to, a pet tattoo outfit? <laughs> Your dad got pet this tattoo up. outfit. What? This is a pet tattoo outfit. It's got the. It's got everything in here. It's got the ink. It's got the the, the tattoo maker thing that you push, you know, on their skin, I guess. And then oh, there's the like like, the, like marking your cows or something. Mark, yes, yes. And this is for your pet. I'm thinking this kind of tattoos. Not yeah, no, like, no, no. This is know, for here's, a cat here's lamb number three six nine. This is for a cat or dog. We bought it for a quarter and we're gonna list it for twenty five bucks. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, here's a part of coach uh, shoes, guys. They are real. Uh, size 10 medium. Uh, they need a little bit of cleaning work to do. As you can see, I still have the marker on there of two bucks that I paid for these. And I'm going to list these between 25 and 30 bucks. Anybody needs a size 10 coach? Let me know. Okay. All right. Hey, Elisa, uh, it's not branding your pet. It's branding when you have like 60 her, uh, you know, 60 head yeah. of sheep. You got to keep track of them. So you got to give them a number. Yeah, and yeah. this is old. You got things from a farmer standpoint, yeah. not from you got your <laughs> fluffy little, uh, uh, you know, Correct. Pomeranian. <laughs> All right, I picked up these. There's only uh, three gold and one in one orange, but you know, I sell every time I get them. They were twenty five cents for the batch, and I will list these for around eh, twenty five bucks, somewhere in that vicinity. Okay, so I got a cute little blow mold here jace look at this one this one's kind of di different like a kind of like a 3D. wow i've never seen yeah. like a real thin one before. yeah this is whole, i paid a buck and a quarter for this couldn't get her down to a buck i tried uh but huh. i'm gonna list this for uh, 32 dollars this is uh by jack olight jack olight okay but I, yeah so uh, yeah that this was is, cool I'm, yeah 32 bucks yeah i'm gonna list this for 32 bucks i'm guessing you can easily set that one on the win the windowsill yes probably so Okay, these are kind of cute vintage ones. Uh, the vintage metal recipe oh, boxes. Nice. Yeah, what's really nice about these, Jason, and I think I, you know, this will up my price. The uh, recipe cards are still sealed, and then you've got the you know the A through Z uh, things here. So I've got that one. I bought two from this gal, and this one was a cute a flower design. Oh, we got ninety-one and thumbs up and another thumbs down. So Ooh. hi, troll. So I bought both of these for two bucks. I got it down to a dollar each, and I'm going to sell them for about twelve to fifteen dollars each. I'm going to list these. Okay. All right. All right. I got to give your dad the credit on this next item, everybody. He, he uh, we were at a sale. He picked up this uh, cigar can. Let me see if I can get this out here. Can bring it closer. Uh huh. Let's see. There we go. Garcia y Vega. Vega cigar. St. Charles. Yes. And he paid. A dollar for this. I'm gonna list this. These sell, Jason, for around forty bucks. I'm listing this for thirty nine ninety nine on the cigar can. Nice. All right. Relatively easy to ship. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I have this nice vintage Pyrex. It's Ooh, nice. Divided bowl, yellow bottom, the green top, and that this is the way it comes, you guys. I mean, this is not a mistake. Okay. And I did pay. Uh, I paid one twenty-five, and I'm gonna uh, list this one for nineteen ninety-nine on the Pyrex. Back down almost on the Pyrex. I needed to get some more back in the. Now, when you ship that, how do, what do you guys normally do? Uh, on this, uh, each piece gets bubble wrapped. Okay. okay, so what I've been doing, and I can't show you because I got nothing here. Yeah. But like when I do my glasses that are the same size, because that right. lid fits that top, I put them together and then I shrink wrap it, so it's uh -huh. less packing and That's it takes right. up less of a footprint. You know, because once you shrink wrap it. it tight, it can't move, and okay. then you bubble wrap it. All right, so you don't put anything in between. You just shrink wrap it. I I would try it. Okay. 
I would try it because that's what I do with my glass. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I do have a little thin piece of plastic between each glass. Okay. All right. Because we'll put something in. Yeah, I would put a thin piece of foam and then shrink wrap it. And then it's less big when you pack it in a box. Okay. All right. If I say the name Jim Shore, is anybody familiar with that name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Usually Disney stuff. Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. This is an Easter bunny. It's called Honey, Honey of a Bunny. It's the 13th annual Easter basket. So apparently he must do them, you know, every year. And I bought him for $3 and I'm going to list his baby for 75 bucks, Jason. They do. Yeah, they do. Uh, really, See, really this would be a great time to go to Terapeak and look at March and April of last year and make yeah. sure that you're in yeah. that range right. of that specific bunny yeah. thingy. Yeah, Jim Shore makes gorgeous stuff. Really, really does. You know, Jason, I think he does a, a Jimmy Buffett collection, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, uh, this I find interesting, Jason. I can even say the name. Do you know what this is, Jace? Well, back it up a little bit so I can see the whole thing. Okay. It's a bell. Yeah. There's the top. I'm not going to let you see what it says. <laughs> Do you hit it and it makes noise? No. No. Oh, is it a decanter? No. Yes. Te tequila? Yes. All right. Yes. You sure that isn't a bell at the top? Hit it. Oh, because I think there's one... Maybe tequila, they, there's a bell, so you hit it. Like, I want more booze over here. Okay. Yeah, no. Oh, just a little. Okay. <laughs> so it says tequila, and it's C-L-A-S-E, Azul, A-Z-U-L. C-L. Yeah, so that's all I know on that. So there's a, I've got a tall one, and I, I can't find my paper. I must have blown away. Oh, no. All right, so when it's full of booze, it's a $160 bottle. Yeah, I think the taller one here, I can get around $45 or $55. And I think this one was the, the shorter one, around $35. And I can't remember. What, do you remember what we paid for these, on? How yeah, much we paid for these by chance? I can't remember. It wasn't much. It wasn't much. So if this is tequila you like, when you're done, your empty yeah. bottle will get you put back a portion of the liquor. Two, uh, two dollars each. Two bucks each we paid. Okay. Picked up this uh, Hawaiian shirt. Well, I shouldn't say Hawaii. Oh, yeah, Hawaiian shirt. But it's from Nassau. All different things from Nassau. Yeah, that's a badass shirt. I know. Isn't that cool? If it, dad, if it fits Dad like we hope it does, we might just keep this one. <laughs> because Oh, and here's the label, everybody. Wind. wind, wind, wind was it wind? Wind swept. Wind swept. Wind swept. But isn't that cool? And we've got the pirates, the limbo, uh, the fish, the, uh, the, the oh, what, what, what do they call their policeman? Not a bobby. Um, shoot, I can't think of the name right yeah, now. It's a Bobby, isn't it? Oh, I guess so. It would be, wouldn't it be? Yeah, about? Yeah. yeah, I guess it would be. So, Debbie uh, says, Hi, Big Daddy. Oh, hello. They're saying hi, Big Daddy from Debbie. Hey, hey. how are you? <laughs> okay. Oh, here's another uh, Halloween item that's older. Um, this is probably around 50 years old, believe it or not, Jason. It's just one of these little oh, that's cool. pumpkin things. Yeah, and you put the, the little tea light in there. Yep. This is an older one. Um, remember, you remember Bernie Shulman's at all, Jason? Yes. Before, before it was Mark's. Well, that's where this was purchased from. I have the original box. Nice. So, yeah. So probably around 25 bucks on that, you guys. I like it. All right. And now, here's a couple of neat pieces we'll end with, Jason, to get you out of here. Cool. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. My my, uh, my guy bought a mug is already there 20 minutes early of our meeting time. Oh, geez. All right. Here, we'll finish up with you. We'll just... <laughs> he just okay. messaged me. I said, oh, I'll be there. Ooh, this look at that. Clam shell. Power. Okay. Yeah. This is like a shell shape. We could not find this exact piece. We looked and looked and looked. Um, but I, I got this for free from Ellen Highway. And I'm probably going to list this for around 45 bucks. Did you, did you say there was a brand on it and I talked over it? No, no. No, okay. uh -uh. no nothing that we could see. Okay. All right, and we'll end up with this item for you tonight, everybody. All right, one, one bigger item, because we're in the cast iron thing. All right, here's the lamp. Yeah, back, back up so we can see yeah. more of it in one shot. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you the cord. Both, uh, uh, both things work. Both of these do work. Look how old this plug is. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it does work, but I'm not going to plug it in because in case it blows up on me or something. It's about 1920. Yeah, this is about 1920s. Uh, we paid five bucks for this, and I'm probably going to list this for around 80 bucks or so. 
because it does work and it's in pretty decent condition. And, and uh, uh, cast iron is pretty much sought after everybody. Uh, it always sells well. Um, I, I, I haven't found that many pieces myself, but it's something I wouldn't pass up. <laughs> That's a huge clamshell. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I wouldn't pass anything up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up. Lisa's got it. Another small thing. <laughs> exactly, Lisa. <laughs> But that that I oh well that's that's enough for tonight. I'll say okay, the next yeah. week. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, we ran a little over because you know just give you guys all kinds of good content. So if yeah. you're not using Terra Peak, there's no excuse now. Every eBay uh, seller has it. Go use it and use it like we showed you. If you're doing holiday items, go back to the prior holiday in that two month span around the holiday and look at those prices. And that's where you aim. Don't aim for a Christmas CD based on what it sold for last week in July, okay? Because that might not be accurate. It might be, but more often than not, it probably won't be. So make sure you're using it properly and keep your eyes peeled for Tiki mugs. You never know, we're gonna weren't run across a treasure trove just waiting for you. Isn't that amazing? And, and the funny thing is, she just put them out on Wednesday, she said. Oh, wow, yeah, so and perfect we, and timing. We, and we were there on Saturday, so you know. And up. get that link on your phone uh, to the uh, shortcut. Oh, yep. and also I forgot next week uh, in Secret Beach, we're doing um, Discogs Part 2 since we're running a little hiccup. So okay. all kinds of good stuff coming up. So for everybody, we will see you Thursday night for the uh, recap of eBay Open. I'm probably going to get a little panel together. So if you plan on watching eBay Open and you want to chit chat about it, hit me up or hit Debbie up. And we'll get a little panel together. So that's what we're doing. And now I got to go see a guy about a mug in the parking lot. So, okay. <laughs> for sale past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50. I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Thanks, everybody. Have a good week. And we're gone. Bye bye. Bye bye.